This car right there is a very special car and not just because it's a Tesla. Yeah, that helps. This one is fully charged with free energy from the sun. I just built a premium passive house that is capable of charging my car during the day. And because I'm a prosumer, I can also charge it during the night. I will tell you my story in the next few episodes, but today I want to show you the unboxing and setup of the Tesla wall connector, the one that we use to harness the power of the sun and put it into the batteries of my beloved Tesla Model 3. Her name is Emma. Yeah, that's a pun because I know Elon wanted to name the Model 3 actually the Model E. That was actually taken so it ended up as model free. We love our car but we love it even more when it runs on free power, free energy. I go past the gas stations and yeah, I laugh. <laughs> it's so funny going past gas stations on your way to work and back home. I come home at night with my battery at around 60 to 70 percent and I plug it in and next day I go back to work in the city with a battery at 90%. But enough about my lifestyle. You're here to learn more about the Tesla wall connector. What you should know first is that you need enough power to push it to your car. Specifically, my Tesla Model 3 pulls 11 kilowatt with the Tesla wall connector. So you need to take that into consideration before you set up your wall connector. So if you only have available less than the maximum of 11 kilowatt, you can limit your wall connector to the power you want it to pull from the grid. No, the Tesla wall connector is not a charger. It's just a connection between your breaker box and your car. But the wall connector is more than just a plug. It has circuits and stuff inside and nice LEDs. And yeah, it looks flashy and glossy on the outside with a green LED when it charges your car. But it's more than that. Your car not only takes power through the wall connector, but it talks to it and it measures what it comes in. It's very important that you have your house in order and your electricity also, because that wall connector and the car are actually measuring your house and your breaker box before it starts charging. Tesla cars are very sensitive and I went through a very interesting episode with the Model X that went actually dead in my carport just because I tried to charge it with a faulty wiring. Yes, I had a faulty breaker box and that ended up with a Model X that was almost ready to be sent to the shop for service. Talk to your electrical engineer and prepare beforehand. And I recommend that you have a totem like that. I'm using one to bring the wall connector closer to the car so I don't need to stretch the cable through the yard. It's best if you have a closed garage and your wall connector is protected from the elements. Luckily, we took a look inside and we saw the circuitry is already protected. Yes, my wall connector is outside on a totem, but still rain and snow will not fall directly on it. The wall connector is rated to minus 30 Celsius and up to 50 and it can also sustain a few splashes. Yes, you can charge your car in the rain, in the snow, in the cold and in the heat. No, the Tesla wall connector is not the only way to charge your car at home but it's the best in my opinion. It's the same with smartphones. It's better to use the charger and the cable you find in the box. What I love most about my wall connector is how easy it is to use. I just take the plug, push the button and the charger port flap opens by pure magic. First, you'll see a white LED and then a blue one. After you plug in the wall connector, you'll see the car doesn't charge immediately. What it does first is measuring the wall connector and the breaker box behind it. It makes sure the energy is premium and clean. What the car actually needs to know is that you don't have fused connectors or faulty wiring because it will not charge. Inside the box of the wall connector you'll find everything you need to set it up in place. We chose to set it up with a larger plate so now I can put the cable all around it and not having it lying on the floor. That will help mostly in the winter 
or when it rains. And that's about it. The wall connector works best with your Tesla car and with the app in your pocket, you can start charging or stop charging whenever you want. The wall connector is limited to 11 kilowatt and that limitation comes from the charger inside the car. If you want faster charging, you need to use the Tesla supercharger or other public chargers that can offer DC. The limitation comes from the AC power and I'm not gonna spend another 40, 50,000 to have a supercharger in my carport, at least not yet. I'm perfectly satisfied with my wall connector because now I can charge this Model 3 with the equivalent of 68 kilometers per hour. That's roughly 40 miles. That gives me peace of mind that I can charge safely the car overnight from 10% to 90% and be on my way the next day. I'm gonna take the experiment even further and I'm gonna try and charge my car exclusively when I have enough sunshine. That means during the summer, I'm gonna start charging at 6 a.m. and be leaving the house around 8. In two hours, I can charge around 120 to 140 kilometers and that's more than enough for my daily commute. Of course, we all want flexibility and we want to charge for free also during the night. And the first thing that comes to mind is going for a Tesla Powerwall or a different power pack, a battery in your home. To charge a car like this from a battery would be very expensive. Too expensive in my opinion because lithium ion batteries are expensive, also have maintenance and a limited lifespan and they are not so eco-friendly as you'd think. So this is why I'm going to recommend that you become a prosumer. My advice is that you look into the legislation of your country and talk to your energy provider. See if they are able to buy your surplus energy that you produce from the solar panels during the day. To safely charge your car from the sun, you'll need at least 13 to 14 kilowatt of solar panels. And that's also very expensive but becoming a prosumer will allow you to get some money from the energy you produce during the day when you might be working in the city. And that's it for today. If you can bear my accent, do follow me and subscribe for updates on the lifestyle of this Romanian that's using a Tesla Model 3.